What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today we will be taking a closer look at Casino Coin. And if you are new to this channel, you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future content, all right? That being said, I want to start off, well, I usually start off with scripture, but today I don't have a scripture for you guys. But I do want to say this. I just want to make it short and simple and quick. Uh, I do want to say, ask a question. Did Jesus want to save us? Uh, there's a scripture that will give you that answer. I want to see y'all give me that scripture. Did Jesus want to come down and save us? Or did he want this cup to pass from him? Did he want to, to live a life on this earth as we do? So... I just want to challenge you guys today to research the Bible on your own. I already know the answer. I just want to see if y'all could uh, give me the scripture in the comment section below explaining your answer. You might get a prize. Who knows? Let's see. All right. Subscriber shout out. Let's see. Who should get a shout out today? Subscriber shout out goes to Cartels Young. He's uh, You are new to my channel. I appreciate for subbing. You're awesome. I uh, hope you enjoy what you see on this channel and continue to watch my videos and support. Uh, and I appreciate you. If you want to get a, and anybody that wants to get a future shout out, hit up my comment section and, you know, tell me how you feel about my channel and tell me what you think about the analysis or anything that you want to say, whether it be opinions of yours or any thoughts. But anyway, other than that, let's get right into the technical analysis. <clears throat> So, you guys, what I see and what I said in the last video, I said that we will be breaking this box and we made a tremendous jump, a 60% jump. Now, this went way beyond my calculations. I said it'll at least come up to here. And I said if it breaks this area right here, it's, it's going to fly up. And I said at least it'll come up to here. But it surpassed even that too because this was the last level of resistance that the price was at so right now I'm going to mark this area for resistance and I'm going to study this chart on the lower time frame right now because this to me is amazing that such a such a move like this occurred in such a short amount of time so let's go to the four hour time frame see what's going on there it looks like momentum is still strong we might even break this level at this point uh, let's see Looking at it on the hour time frame. Okay, so we're starting to see some slowdown in this area. Uh, let's go. Actually, let's, let's let's pay attention to the four hour time frame and the hour time frame. It's actually, mainly the uh, hour time frame because there's not a lot of data on the four hour. So we're gonna go look in this area right here. So you see that right now we have lost some momentum. Kijinsen is flat. Tinkinson is flat. So this is the momentum indicator for most of you guys that are new to Ichimoku and been asking me about how it works. I am going to make a separate video on, on how it trades in that and go over it in key details. So and how to calculate these components. But other than that, um, right here we see Kijinson is flat. Momentum is very strong to the upside. We can very well easily break to the upside still. Uh, what's going to determine that is this right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark this. Actually, I don't like that. Uh, let's go ahead right there. One more thing. Make Give her some thickness. Boom, right there. And bam, right there. So... This is what I'm watching right here. I'm watching to see if we get some angulation to the upside. Um, it's going to be the best place to trade this and the best way to trade this will be boxing in this zone here. We are still inside this mother candle, so anything could happen in this box until we break to the upside. So we, you want to play this trade on a lower time frame like this. Let me go ahead and make this invisible. On the 15, uh, let's go ahead and turn that off. 
right there, bam. So you want to play it on this time frame here. We already determined that um, we had uh, momentum slowing down. So what we're expecting is a range in here until we break to the upside or downside. Now, what do, what I expect, I'm ex excuse me, I'm expecting it to come up some more. Uh, maybe range a little bit, but after we range for a few more days or so, I'm expecting, you know, the price to start shooting up again. Until then, I am, I don't see nothing but up for this uh, asset right now. Uh, it looks like it's doing well for everybody that's invested in it. I'm, I'm proud of you. You made a very wise and very good investment. Very good investment. Uh, you made 60% if you got into uh, at where I said to get in at. So congratulations. <laughs> awesome job. Other than that, you guys, there's not much I could say about this coin. It's just going strong to the upside. I, I like to see more, uh, you know, data for the next coming days or, you know, weeks even. But I, I'm very bullish on this. The only thing that I am worried about is this gap right here. If we don't, if we do break to the downside, I'm expecting a drop to this price right here. I'm gonna make it red. So let's see, red. I'm gonna make this red because this could be a potential area that we could come to if it decides to close right in here. If we get a range and break to the downside. So that's what I see too. I'm giving you two scenarios because honestly, there's not enough data to give me for uh, the data for me to say what direction it's going to go in. But momentum is very strong to the upside. Very strong to the upside. So my bias is still bullish. But if we do close this gap, it will come to this area right here. So that's my scenarios that I'm giving you guys. I will have to monitor this a little bit more because right now I can't really say what direction is going to go in as far as a uh, because the short term is it's bullish but right now if we range some more and it, this momentum still picks up then hey it's we're moving up higher but right now it, this is what i'm afraid of right here this gap this is the gap that i'm worried about uh looking at it again on the uh this time frame one thing i do want to say price does may want to come down only because this is flat when price is this far away from kijinsen price usually wants to act as a magnet and come down to these levels so i'm ex i'm gonna say this i'm gonna, I'm gonna make this prediction now i'm gonna say that we'll range and we'll come back down to these levels here within this level just from the uh, gap to fill. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's going to come down to this level. Then it might continue back to the upside. Uh, if I'm wrong, then hey. Because it it shows that it's strong, moving strong to the upside. But looking at the momentum now, it's slowed. Uh, if this does angle up, it will continue to the upside. But right now, since it's flat, I expect some ranging in this market. And then a move to the downside right here, depending on what goes on for the next few days. Uh, that's all I see. I don't have nothing much to say about this. It's doing really well. And I think that everybody that's invested in it is, you know, pretty happy and made a good and wise investment. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Stay tuned for the next video and God bless. Peace.